Most is a game about circles. You tap the circle to the beat and repeat. Simple as that. Despite how boring this may sound, I've been spending my time in this game for collectively almost a year now. Improving my mechanical skill, interacting with the community. Oh, I accidentally cursor danced. Seeing top players set scores left and right, and overall having a pretty good time. Well, how did that go? Well, here's my O's journey from a newbie to setting scores that I myself can't even believe I've set so far. It all started back in June of 2022, except it didn't. I had downloaded the game to play its Mania game mode, but after I saw how the default skin was unreadable and didn't know how to change the scroll speed, I just closed the game and ended it there. Till one day in March of 2023. While grinding Mania, I often went to play a bit of O Standard, the topic of today's video. Everyone starts somewhere, and for me, I started off by just playing this one map over and over again on its easy and normal difficulties. This went on for a few days until I have seen the map on its normal div with pretty high accuracy, which gave me my first 18 PP play. By the way, PP stands for performance points and not something else. As I played more maps, I eventually went to play hard difficulty maps, trying to FC them. I got pretty close on some maps, but never actually got a 3 star FC, until I did. You see, thus far, the only maps I was grinding was from this artist called Namirin. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. When I searched her up on YouTube, a VTuber clip came up where she played this pretty short map. When I saw it, I was like, hmm. I could probably play this, so I did, around 500 times. For 3 days straight, I was retry spamming this map, trying to get an FC. At this point, I'm the Walmart Kush fan man. I got so close, so many times, but was just one unlucky flick off almost every single time, until I had basically memorized the map and well, finally FC'd it. I think it's time to mention that every score till this point was set on mouse only because around this point I had bought a drawing tablet and because that map was almost a 4 star FC, I thought I was ready. The biggest challenge of swapping to tablet was learning to tap with my other hand but when I got it down, my PP went vertical real quick. Wait a minute. One day I was playing a 4 star map and the other I was getting my first 5 star pass. I kept trying out new maps and pushing my boundaries day by day. At some point I had gotten my first 6 star pass on this map. My aim was pretty slow but my tapping could keep up. Stop the cap. <laughs> Around this point, I found out about farming. Not like I was good enough to FC maps, but I did get better by just playing them for passes. I did accidentally FC Harumachi Clover though, so oops. But you see, Log of Now is a pretty popular mapper, mostly due to his Miku farm maps, and out of them, one looked very doable for me. So after around 10 tries, this happened. And there it is, my first 100 PP play, sitting at 129 PP. Now this is actually pretty funny, cause my profile at the time looked something like this. Those gaps shouldn't exist. Anyhow, after getting that play, I started farming, like a lot. I choked a 172 PP play with shit ack, but set another top play, until it all went downhill. One day, I just suddenly couldn't tap anymore. I couldn't alternate anymore, no more streams, and my single tap wasn't good either. I looked for a solution everywhere, but there was none to be found. I was so demotivated that I didn't find any reason to keep playing the game, so I quit the game for a few months and played relaxed since that didn't require any tapping. 
But one day, I decided, fuck it, I'm gonna learn to single tap. And it went well. After a day, I had already set my new top lay of 141 pp. Fast forward a week or so, and I had managed to set a 182 pp play on this atrocity of a map. Oh, and can't forget the amazing one miss. This was also around the time I had started to learn to stream, but that didn't get any decent until a bit later. I was now getting very close to 200 pp, so I explored a few maps to try and find which I could get my first 200 pp on, which is when I found this map. As you can see, 200 pp was very doable for me, but of course, I kind of got mind blocked on this map, so I threw a few attempts into Kira Kira days, not knowing what was about to happen. And there it is, my first 200 pp play. Even to this day, it still feels unreal to me how early I got it after my break from the game at around one month in. After this play, I had realized my capabilities and started trying the old farm apps that I never got to FC. Waver didn't really go well, but I FC'd almost every single difficulty of Padoro Padoro. And yes, I did fix the top diff, which gave me a pretty big amount of pp. I also started the DT farming up to 220 BPM songs due to the fact that I still couldn't alternate and got some pretty juicy plays as well. The most eventful thing for a few weeks was me retry spamming Lone Ligo. I kept choking Fiery's diff and it was pretty frustrating, but in the end, my best play was a 234 pp play on it, which was my top play at the time. At this point, I think I was around rank 150k or something, which was pretty close to 5 digit, aka basic human rights. So only a bit of farming should get me there. Unrelated, you know Black Rover? Yeah. I've FC that stuff on Akatsuki Relax service, but because of how many times I retried it, I kinda got mind blocked at the intro. But I'm no ordinary person, so for fun, I flipped my monitor vertically to try this map out without Relax. It was all for fun. No way I'd FC this map. So somehow, I have seen this map on basically a side read score for 274 pp, which by the way was miles better than my best play at the time which was Lonely Go on Fiery Stiff at 234 pp. Honestly, not in a million years would I have thought I'd have seen this map not even after I get 5 digit, let alone on a side read. This was one of those maps you'd put in your dream FC's folder and then never touch ever again. But aside from my pop off, I was around rank 110k now with 200 more pp to go to reach 5 digits, so I began farming. GG's. <laughs> I had done it. I had obtained basic human rights. Now that was one goal out of the way, and to maintain my spot in 5 digit, I farmed a bit more to give me more wiggle room and not fall back into 6 digit. I even set another 270 pp play, obviously cause butchy buff, but there was still one thing I was missing, one thing to rule I am a worthy player, and that is a 300 pp play. Now honestly, that wasn't very realistic, but it's good to give it a shot, right? That was an insanely lucky one miss. Honestly, I thought I could never top that until I restarted the map.
Would it be funny now to mention that I wasn't even going for 300? Even to this day, that play is still insane to me. After that, I spent some more time learning how to stream. I started off getting 100 on burst to consistently hitting 300 on burst. I did it by simply just playing stream maps and not caring about accuracy or FC. A pass could make my day. I passed a lot of maps, but the most significant one was Epitap. And I know, I know, this is some boring ass stream map everyone has seen top players getting their 1Ks on, and even 5 digits getting their 700s on, but for me, this was still pretty hard, and I felt pretty cool when I passed it. And now we've arrived to the present. Compared to other people, I'd say I improved pretty quickly. And for anyone looking to improve in the game, play more is really the best advice you can get. I might have skipped a lot of it, but in between the plays I've mentioned, I've just been playing maps for passes and hitting some pretty cool clips. It's not like I wake up and decide to set a 300 pp play today. I just play maps and let the magic happen. Getting good at anything takes time, and with enough passion, you too can become better at the game. Thank you for listening to my TED talk. Here are my stats as of July 12th. If you liked the video, please subscribe, because this video took me a very long time to research and make. Other than that, have a good day and I'll see you next time.